Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you that, well, something about Ark 2, right? Now, I've been going over it a lot, trying to figure out whether Ark 2 or, is going to release this year. Some people are convinced it is, some people are convinced it's not. So I wanted to dug a little bit deeper and try to just use some of the things that Ark has said in the past to tell you guys uh, information that you might or might not like at all. So anyways let's go ahead and get started with that i'm going to go ahead and show you without playing in game exactly what i'm talking about so i've gone ahead and looked back at four major community crunches right now they've also made some announcements over on their other sites including twitter and things along those lines but if you go to extra life 2020 20, i guess 2023 recap um this was the actual and these are all things that you can access yourself so it's not just me telling you these things by the way these are like facts so i'm going to kind of extrapolate based on them but anyways back when they had this right they released the extra life 2023 which is an awesome event it happened on december 4th 2023 and they released a little bit more information obviously we knew we had arc survival ascended at that point we had scorched earth in the thought process with the concept of this frontier adventure pack that they kind of introduced and uh, they kept the skins. They already knew what they wanted. They already knew what they had. They already knew they had dinos they wanted to add. Um, they added a new cool Krampus in Winter Wonderland. And then they kind of showed us a roadmap with an animated series as well. Now, it's really important to understand this one image. Now, this one image, without saying much, goes into everything you could ever need to know, right? So let's talk about the simple ones. Early 2024, the arc, the animated season or the animated series technically released in March. So yeah, they followed that question mark at best. Um, so they kind of, they followed what we thought it was gonna be. Now the center obviously was supposed to release earlier, but we're not gonna get into that quite yet. So what they've done so far, right? So they announced that October was the release of Survival Ascended. December was the release of Survival of the Fittest. This was early 24. The only one that's on been, I guess, been on date so far is Arc the Animated Series. And that it really had nothing to do with the studio itself, at least the game devs. They had a totally different kind of concept working on that. Whereas you want to focus on these three things. So first off, PC got Arc Survival the Senate released. And then per usual, console got it pushed back, which is obviously a big negative for a lot of people. And they really, I mean, it pissed off a lot of people because then uh, Xbox was able to play before PlayStation because of X, Y, or Z, whatever it happens to be, right? So things happen and this got pushed back into November and December for those console players. And then December comes around, they re re I guess reveal a release of Survival of the Fittest, which again, I don't see a value to it. Almost nobody plays Survival of the Fittest because it's like, it's a mediocre version of a game that we already enjoy. I don't know why. I mean, I, the, the player count on these servers is almost non-existent. And the, I mean, the people that play it love it. I don't, I don't disagree with that, right? Um, but the people that play it love it. So, you know, keep that in mind. So that's something that you should uh, be aware of. But then we kind of get past these three into Scorched Earth. Now, Scorched Earth was slated to be revealed in March, February timeframe when they originally released all this stuff. This is a current roadmap, I guess, if you want to think of it that way without this pushback. But reality, I mean, reality hit without lack of a better way of saying it. And they released on April Fool's Day. So technically speaking, they missed the day by one. Were they planning on releasing in March? Yes. March 31st was that planned day. They had to push back because instead of releasing on a Sunday, they released on a Monday instead. So is that, you know, the worst? No. But let's talk about why that's an important thing. So anyways, when you look back in the actual stuff, the animated series, we can see that that one went on track, right? We know that ARC is getting better with their deadlines. For those of you that don't remember when ARC was pushing their dates in the past, when Genesis got pushed back almost a year, um, and then other things like that have been pushed back significant chunks of time. And yes, they have pushed ARC survival ascended back in general, but for the most part, they're keeping within about a month of what they said so. And I know that I said that for sure. Um, you see April 11th, they extended that to the 19th. So the animated series kind of medium, but it does show us that they're keeping more on track than they have been in the past. Now, obviously we talked about this, how they released for November 14th for Xbox Series X, and then PlayStation had to wait until December, which sucks. It's not great. It did create a little bit of a problem, 
And, uh, but obviously you can see that that's just, I mean, that's what it is. The arc got pushed back. This is when arc was very big. People were playing a ton of it. It's dropped pretty significantly since then. It's dropped into the 20,000 average player count at any given time, which isn't terrible. It's still top 100 games, but you would hope that the 30, 40,000 people still playing arc survival evolved would hop over. But anyways, you know, I'm getting kind of sidetracked, but this does have a point behind it. It's not like I'm just, I promise I'm not just rambling for no reason. So what they've noticed is that people are still staying split between Evolved and Ascended. So they have to provide more content for Ascended. So instead of doing things like just releasing maps and hoping people will come play, they actually have to bring out content. Now I will admit a lot of the things they have sent out recently have been fantastic, right? Uh, for those of you that haven't played Scorched Earth, it's got a bunch of really cool additions. I know some people don't like the Bob's Tall Tales. I do because it adds things that aren't required, but kind of make the game a touch more fun. So let's get past that, right? So we've gone to Scorched Earth. We've talked about the benefits. The Scorched Earth release as a whole was really, really, really good. The map runs really well. It doesn't lag everyone out. Servers and unofficial servers seem to be running it just fine. Obviously, there's some small things, but for the most part, this was mostly on track and it did really well. It's not like the island when the island first released and there were so many problems in the game. People couldn't save. People couldn't do things. People were just abusing GCM. All kinds of crazy things were happening. Now, push past all of that. We're into the March time frame. Every game when it first releases has a little bit of a rough period. And I know people are going to be like, well, teach, you know, it, it, Ark Survival Evolved already got released. Yes, that is true. But Ark Survival Ascended is different, even though it's a similar code, it's not identical. And there's quite a few overall pretty large changes. So now let's talk about we've gotten past all of this, right? We've already pushed the center back a month, which means that everything on this map, I guess everything here is at least getting pushed back a month because they said that they're focusing on there's a whole different studio, supposedly, that's taking care of the center which is pretty cool, obviously, and they're kind of like pushing into it. And then they split their teams, remaining teams between March and July of the Scorched Earth and Aberration. So this, however, got pushed back into June. You can see the Shasta Source and everything is supposed to release on June 3rd. I almost guarantee that's not happening on June 3rd. I would push that back a week, June 10th, maybe June 17th would be my guest uh, in that time frame. But June 3rd is is probably not going to happen because if you think about it, we're a month and a half away from that and we haven't heard really anything about the center map. And this is just, you know, this is just what it is. Like this is the most recent update that we have. And this was from April 6th. Well, I guess update for the map. Um, the more recent community crunch isn't all that great. So the center, right? So push back a month. That means everything here, push it all back a month. And their statement still as of right now, is that sometime in this range in 2020, 2024, they're gonna release ARC 2. Now, my simple question is, unless they have multiple studios working on something secretly that we don't know about right now, how are they gonna produce all of this content and produce ARC 2? So that leaves two options, right? That leaves the option of one, they release the center, Aberration, Ragnarok, and they essentially cut everything out and begin a hundred, like cut all of this stuff out till next year and release Arc 2 here like they planned. They're not gonna do that. Just, just telling you right now, they aren't going to do that. This is probably gonna be a new map in November, 2024. Um, there, I doubt that's an Arc 2 announcement. That's an Arc Survival Ascended announcement. It's it's just not gonna happen. I, I, I don't mean to be rude, it's not gonna happen. So all of this right here, right? So there's three theories right now that exist. This is the last chunk that we're going to get from Survival Ascended. They release Arc 2 and then Arc Survival Ascended kind of like everything else just gets dropped because why would they continue to work on two different games at the same time? There's no, it's, it's just going to release in two terrible products instead of one okay product, right? Not going to go well. So that's the first option. They release when they originally planned, cut out Arc Survival Ascended and then kind of move into a two game studio which is possible, unlikely. The next option is they push Arc, Sur Arc Survival Ascended into the planned date of October 2025, and they do not release Arc 2 until 2025, late in the year. So we're talking like December 2025. That's a more likely scenario. There's no, like that pushes it essentially a year back. Now it got announced, what, five years ago is when Arc 2 got announced and it's still in the making. We haven't seen anything from it. All we know is that it's being made. 
That's the second scenario in the most likely scenario, by the way, um, just because they continue to push these back, which means they're running somewhere short on time and something's going on. I don't think it's Arc 2 that's delaying them. I think there's genuine Arc Survival Ascended bugs that are causing problems and they're pushing it back. So they push all this back by a month. This goes into November and then maybe Arc 2 shows up in early 2026 or late 2025. And then there's the third option, right? This is something that I've heard people talk about and I don't know how accurate it is and I don't know what people want to know because they're going to release all of this minus all of the months. And then here's the theory. This is arc two right here. But with the theory that some people have come up with, and I, I don't believe this, by the way, I've just heard it a few times and it sounds really good, but it's almost impossible. The theory is that arc survival ascended actually becomes arc two and that they release these maps. So there's the core map island, core map scorched earth, core map, uh, core map here, and then the core map here. Then what happens is you get some sort of weird arc two update that blends this, all of the package with all the maps they already have into arc two with some new map or some new system or something like that. And then they move into the rest of this being arc two, if that makes sense. So arc survival ascended becomes arc two and then arc two and arc survival ascended move on into like the rest of the more specialized maps, the Valgueros, Genesis and stuff like that. Now, again, that is the least likely scenario, but it's it sounds really cool, right? It's possible people like Fortnite and stuff like that do it where it's a game as a service instead of just a game that continues to. Um, they just have massive updates that change the game, right? Arc typically doesn't do stuff like that because they'd have to erase all the code. They'd have to somehow mesh it. And I don't know how they would do that. And uh, that's just an interesting theory. So. What is my point, right? So they released all this information a while back. And to be fair, they've done they've, like they've had an OK showing since December 4th. When Ark officially released Ark Survival Ascended, it was bad, 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 bad. But it's gotten way better. The Frontier Adventure Pack has been great. Scorched Earth has been great. Some of the events that they've had, the Krampus event was great. The Survival Love Ascended event, great. The anime, not bad. Wouldn't say it's great, but I would say it's certainly not bad. Um, survival to fittest, meh at best, I would say meh. And then, you know, overall, they've released a lot of information. Now, the center looks fantastic with a different server company entirely that's kind of taking it on. If you haven't seen this, this is what I was talking about squashing earth bugs, diving into the world of upcoming free evaporation. And then the center is still planning on being shown up on June 3rd. Now, my thought is they might actually release this just a touch earlier to make the community happy and then push that back a little bit, but we'll see how that actually works. Um, but I've also know that I've, I've heard that a different company entirely is working on the center. So there could be quite literally new everything. And I'm stoked for that possibility. If they're releasing new content every month and a half, two months, they're going to have a fan base that is very happy because that means that over a long period of time, you are essentially releasing 12 maps, Right here, right? So we got island one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen over the next two years. So I'm thinking I think this is the 13th, but you know, we'll keep that to myself. So arc two, I hate to tell you this, is not gonna come out this year. My bet is the earliest it comes out is November 2025, or more realistically, it's gonna be like January or February 2026. They're going to continue all this, make as much money as they can off of this, and then move into Arc 2, hoping they don't just cancel everything in general. But those are my thought processes. I know that we've seen a lot. I know that Arc right now is very controversial. You have some really upset people. You have some really happy people. But what I can tell you is that I like what they've done so far. I do think there is room to grow, but a lot of what they're releasing and stuff like that does get me excited because I see things that make me... I don't know enjoy the game a little bit go back to the roots of arc if you will do the old school where you don't have all this tech you don't have everything you've got to kind of figure your what your ways out that's what i'm hoping arc 2 shows up with you've got some sort of like primitive plus style arc instead of just all this super advanced stuff you have to actually figure things out instead of doing things but that's my thought arc 2 i hate to tell you this is probably not coming out for a long long time probably two years is my guess so strap in for arc survival ascended those of you still playing evolved i get it 
I think that most people are going to start switching over once the center releases, which makes the most sense to me. And I hope that people start playing on Survival Ascended because it really is not that bad. I like it a lot. It does require a lot of graphics, but it's a good game. So take that for what you will. But if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. Now, let me know what your comments are below. Obviously, I've got, I mean, these are my ideas. Tell me what else you've heard. Tell me what else you think. And we'll kind of go from there and work as a team to figure out some answers. So hopefully this uh, uh, video helps you out and teach.